Welcome back to Intoxicated Opinions. Oh, no. I like to start my morning off with coffee. Let me just start the sentence there. What better way to have coffee than with creamer and motherfucking whiskey? Jameson Cold Brew. I like Irish whiskey in the, you, you know, already. I'm Irish, one. I don't, I don't feel like I can be disappointed at this moment. Like, I've had the best of both worlds when it comes to beer. Uh-huh. I'd have had the best, and I had the mediocre, almost worse. That Pat's, that yeah. Pat's Blue Ribbon, huh? Yeah. That was good. And what we had the last time? We had that white Nitrogen, Russian. Nitrogen. Uh, Nitro, white Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left-handed brew. I remember that. Yeah. Listen, I love Jameson. I love coffee. This is Jameson Cold Brew Whiskey and Coffee. Infused with natural cold brew coffee flavor, so I'm expecting to get lit. I'm also <laughs> expecting notes of toasted oak and dark chocolate. Mm, that sounds good, huh? Yeah. I mean, you. I was gonna say a joke, but I won't <laughs> do that for the viewers. It smells. I don't know. It don't have no. It's not some particular smell, huh? Right. It's not no barren. It smells like a. Uh, Little coffee beans, but other than that, yeah, just a hint of Irish whiskey. It's not. Yeah, it's not overpowering. It's not over overbearing. Here we go. So I'll give this a sip. Right now, I'm, see, I'm, I'm pretty much uh just open minded right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm okay. just open minded right now. Wow. I have. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, it was like a what we am I searching for yeah let me do a double take okay one more time okay one more again at the end is coffee at the end is coffee at the beginning it's like I'm searching for a flavor I'm searching for something and it's nothing there and then it just the coffee flavor hits you this coffee isn't sweet it is more coffee straight coffee Little and, chocolate. <clears throat> Jameson normally is, I wouldn't say it's it's rough, but it hits hard. The coffee flavor in this smooths the hit out. Yeah, it does. I, so, I was I was looking forward to tasting a whiskey with with uh, coffee in it, but this is the opposite. No sugar added. Wow. Arabica beans, Brazilian and Colombia. You see that color too? That's Legs on that, on that thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to look for the the proof here. It's crazy because it's like a chill to it, and it's at room temperature. You didn't notice that sixty proof, mm. sixty proof. Like it's a chill to it. It's not warm. It's think not. That's it's what cooler the cold, than the yeah, room. I think that's what that cold brew is. I'm looking forward to it. All right, you ready? Let's try yeah. it then. Same thing. It smells a little. More flavorful on ice. Yeah, you you can definitely smell the chocolate a little more on ice. You can taste the chocolate more on ice. Surprisingly, I prefer this at room temperature. That is weird, huh? Hold on with me. (laughs) Either or. When it's cold, it's kind of like a... Um, Starbucks plain coffee, cold brewed. So, I think this would be a chino. That's what I'm looking for. I think this would be a good mixture for a white Russian. Yeah, I had you know, kumchata, rum chata. I say kumchata, Paul. <laughs> Add a rum chata to it, some caramel maybe. I think this would go good for a uh no white Russian. White Russian. Vodka? It does. You're going you're to change out the vodka for yes, sir. Irish whiskey. Yeah. Don't forget the sir. Hey, I don't have much complaints about this. It's not as sweet as uh, that Paps Blue Ribbon coffee beer, but it's not as uh, distasteful as that White Russian by Left Hand Brewing Company. So this yeah, is kind of right in the middle. The perfect taste of straight coffee and whiskey. Yeah, if you like your coffee black... This is definitely, it has a hint of sweetness to it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so. It's very aromatic. It's very potent. It reminds me of, listen, if you drink coffee and you don't put cream in it and you take a sip, 
there's a certain flavor that's left over in your mouth. Black coffee. That's exactly the flavor that's left over right after you drink this. But it's so it's sweet. I don't know how. It says no sugar added. And I drink a lot of Starbucks. Drink a lot of coffees. Why? I work overnight. You drink that mocha frappe latte. I drink it all. I drink Folgers. I drink Kahlua. I drink any kind of coffee. Just stay up. No, I'm talking when you go to Starbucks, you get that high class stuff, huh? I do. You want the I get get triple espresso. I get uh, you know, I might get the mocha. I might get the caramel. I might get those pants a little tight, huh? You call it what you want to call it. Mocha (laughs) season, baby. (laughs) Hey, Jameson, you did really well here. Luckily, Ireland can claim this, so I can claim this. I like it. I like it. Surprisingly delicious for a, a whiskey coffee. I give it a, a, a solid eight. Does it make me an alcoholic if I want to put this in my real coffee? No, I do it all the time. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you are an alcoholic. No, I'm not an alcoholic. I just enjoy Bro, what it says. Do you even know the definition of alcoholic? I have at least two, two shots a day or one or two times a week. I have about six. And you put whiskey in your coffee. Listen. (laughs) That's alcoholic. (laughs) On occasions Uh, when I want that flavor of whiskey and coffee. Okay. Yes, I will indulge a little bit. That's funny. Yes. So it says it's it's best enjoyed chilled over ice. But room temperature is great too. I, I like it better over room temperature. Maybe it's a mixed drink. Maybe you want to mix it. It's limited edition. Go out there and get you some if you see it. Oh, you buy? Yeah, you should definitely buy it within the next 30 days because once it's gone, it might be a year or two before they bring it back up. How much does this cost? Okay. It is good on ice. I told you that. I think you got to sit, let it sit a little while. How much did you pay for this bottle? Uh, I want to say $30. 30 Oh, you can't beat it. Uh, yeah. For a coffee whiskey, top of the line. Yeah. I got it from Red X. I go there all the time. Yeah. Uh, prices are a little bit higher. Oh, come on. They are. Don't say that. They are. You know that's not true. <laughs> Listen. It's true. If you have tried this, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We got a whole lineup of Jameson we're going to try. It's going to be a Irish whiskey release festival here at Intoxicated it's, Opinions. It's Christmas time. Indulge your loved ones. Get them, some, talking about? get them some Jameson. Oh, okay. Box it up. So, whiskey makes good gifts. That's what he's saying. It does. I thought you was about to get sentimental. Liquor does. All alcohol. Yeah. I mean, unless it's duck it rum. I mean, unless you got a problem. If you got a problem, I'd say, you know, liquor will probably still solve it sometimes. So, boom. <laughs> if you see this and you was like, ah, I don't know if it's going to be good or not, now you know it's going to be good. <laughs> it's worth your $30. Buy it. Check it out. Uh, like this video subscribe to our channel we appreciate your love your support and we out peace peace